Hi, and welcome to easycamp.com. In this session, we're going to be taking a look at the Indianapolis 400, which is in our Motor Tour collection. As you can see, one of the main characteristics of the Motor Tour collection is that the tents can uh, attach onto vehicles such as this one here. Now, there are various different ways of attaching the tents onto the vehicles, and if you jump onto easycamp.com and have a look at our setup videos, you'll see various different ways in detail of how to do that. So, taking a closer look at the tent, we can just wander around to the other side here and we can tell you a few of the features. So the fabric the tent is made out of is a PU coated polyester. It has fully taped seams and a hydrostatic head of 3000 millimeters. The frame of the tent is made up of these uh, 11 millimeter uh, fiberglass poles. Uh, and as you can see, they are color coded as well, which makes it nice and easy to pitch the tent. We can see across the front here, that we have this large canopy area, which just gives you a good amount of protection when you want to come in and out of the tent. If it's raining, you'll have that shelter across the top here. You'll also notice that when we walked past uh, the front, the, uh, sorry, the side of the tent, that we do have a side door. Uh, we've put this up as a canopy at the moment, and uh, the steel poles that you can see holding the door up do come with the tent as well. Now there is another one of these doors on the opposite end of the tent, giving you lots of different options as to uh, which entrance you can use. When we uh, step into the tent, we can see here that we have this uh, good sized door making it easy to get sort of tables and chairs and things like that in here. There is also another door here as well, which can obviously be opened up and they do, do have uh, large panoramic windows on them as well. Coming into the tent, we can see that we have this uh, ground sheet, which is very tough, very durable, has tape seams again, and it's uh, also very waterproof as well. Now, the ground sheet is sewn in, but you can toggle it up at the doors just to stop any sort of water coming in through there as well. Stepping in here, we can see that we have a good amount of head height in the centre of the tent. Um, I'm actually just about 195 centimetres tall. There's still plenty of space above my head here. And like I said before, there's a lot of space around us here. Now, towards the back of the tent, we can see just here that this is the canopy area that attaches the tent to the vehicle. And as you can see, it's fully covered at the top and at the sides as well, which is going to give you shelter from any uh, rain and wind. And there is also a ground sheet just to protect uh, the tent and the vehicle from any mess getting in there. As you can see, we have a bedroom towards the back here, which uh, sleeps up to four people. Now, uh, as it stands, we have set, uh, set this bedroom towards this side of the tent, but depending on the layout of your campsite or where you want your vehicle then, this can be placed on the other side as well. So there are actually toggles for this bedroom on both sides of the tents. Like I said earlier, it just gives you a really good uh, range of uh, different uh, sort of ways to set the tent up. You can see that in the bedrooms we have uh, large ventilation panels, which do correspond with external ventilation in the tent. Also, the bedrooms, um, they're separated at the moment into two two-man sleeping compartments, but if we wish, then we can just take this sheet up in between uh, and that will toggle up out the way to create one large area of uh, sleeping compartment. Optional extras for this tent include a carpet for the ground sheeted area in here, just giving you a little bit more comfort. And also there's a footprint available that can go underneath the tent for a little bit of protection. So there you go, that is our Indianapolis 400.